reminds me of when I was younger and coming for riding lessons, but I've not been on a horse in a very long time. So I'm interested to see how technology is helping people who are learning to ride a horse today. Time to get back on the saddle, I guess. The team here at Scotland's Rural College have really embraced new tech and by doing so it's hoped it can benefit the riders as well as the horses. Meet Penny, who'll help me demonstrate. Okay, let's go. First up, there are smart reins. They tell me how much pressure I'm putting on Penny as she walks. So what we're using here um, on this horse is a rein pressure sensor. There's a little box that sits on the top of the horse's head and it has two lights that will indicate your left rein and your right rein. So if you take any kind of pressure on either rein or both reins, the colour will change. Purple indicates low pressure and blue and red show medium and high pressure. They maybe have a, a problem where they have maybe one rein a little bit too higher than the other or one a bit shorter than the other. It can really help them to make those adjustments themselves rather than instructors sort of having to tell them all the time. I've also tried on the biomechanic jacket, which helps me get my posture right and makes it more comfortable for Penny too. Initially we look for a straight line from the shoulder through the hip down to the rider's heel when they're on the horse. We also look for a nice straight line from the a relaxed shoulder and then a line from the rider's elbow through the hand and right down through the rein to the horse's bit. Anything different than that you can restrict the way the horse is going and it can make it quite uncomfortable for the horse and sort of stops them from travelling forward. And so how are you monitoring that using these fluorescent lines? So what we do is we use um, a robot camera it tracks the rider no matter where they go in the arena and it will zoom in and out automatically. So we'll record the riders um, in a variety of paces, so in the walk and the trot and the canter, and then they can review um, their, their riding position afterwards, discuss it with their instructor, and then they can see maybe what is really good and what needs improving. And you're also using camera technology to connect with the smartwatch, which I had on earlier as well. Whichever rider is wearing the smart watch, the camera will track that rider and um, wherever they are in the arena. And then again, is it the same thing? They're looking for the posture, they're looking for the technique, they're kind of picking up anything that maybe would be difficult to pick up otherwise. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're always looking for that visual aspect. Um, and if we've got any riders that maybe come along that maybe have an auditory processing disorder um, or mem auditory memory disorder, because it makes it visual, it makes it really inclusive for those learners. And finally, we have the pressure mat. This mat sits underneath the horse's saddle and we can use it to help learn about saddle fitting initially, um, but also it's great for um, detecting any abnormalities in position and that pressure mat will pick that up and then it transmits data to an iPad. We can record them as they're riding in walk, trot or canter and then they can see there and then what colour changes happen and obviously if they're sitting to one side it makes the horse unbalanced and all for the welfare of the horses and to improve their riding. Not only are the pieces of tech making horse riding more accessible and teaching our equestrian enthusiasts how to ride, they have some other benefits too. Last year I was a very nervous rider and actually having everything there made me focus on everything and bonding with the horse no matter what horse I've been given. These four bits of tech being used together mean students here are getting the most modern way of learning in an industry which has been steeped in tradition. And it looks like the college has their eyes on more tech for the future too.